So again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard with a 12 inch by 24 inch pre-primed black canvas. And I've wiped the moisture off because it was raining not very long ago and um, I think it'll be okay. I want a layer of black paint and I have some leftover paint that looked like the inside of an abalone shell when I manipulated it on canvas earlier, tilting it. And I'm thinking that I'm going to risk trying my hand at, wait for it, pouring a dragon. Let's see what happens. Because I really prefer scooping a dragon than pouring a dragon. But uh, I have those little scoops around here somewhere. I suppose if I looked for one, they might come in handy. But whatever I do now is probably going to be stage one. I don't see that many oriental dragons with wings, so it's going to be another oriental dragon shape. And I've just about got the perfect amount of paint to cover all of my canvas. And Floatrol is in my paint mixture, and you can find that recipe below Show More underneath the video. And Floatrol is a paint leveler, which means if I were to leave this after smoothing it, even if I left some marks in it, they would flatten out for the most part, as long as it wasn't sticky or gummy or gooey. So I still expect that to happen, and paint isn't going to dry very fast right now, because it's still dripping everywhere from the rain. It didn't, it didn't just stop but a minute or two ago. Alright, that's going in the bucket. Here are my beautiful colors from earlier. I am inclined to what, take that sticky wrap and unstick myself from it. I'm inclined to give myself a little scratch. Whatever that is, it looks like a flake of paint that needs to go away. So I'm going to do something similar to the last time. And I'm going to give myself a dragon head. And a neck. And a belly. back. And give it a longer tail this time. And I think if I pour the majority, another one? I see it. Hang on. If I get them now, really, I don't know where these are coming from. They look, I don't even smoke cigarettes. They look like little shards of tobacco. Oh well. Alright, so I'm going to start. Oh boy. Give a little bit... And a head for the middle. Then I'm probably going to go back again. not sure what I'm going to do about any of this, and I am sure after doing a cat like this once, the chances are good it's going to spread out on me. So I'm thinking I might want to just grab a little tiny Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatula and do a little paint hurting. And see what happens. I could actually tip that down a little bit. I could use my straw to blow some things around. I want to use my skewer and try and spread things out a little bit. I like the colors I see but I know that there are other colors that are fabulous in there also. Now, no matter what I do now, I could do more to this tomorrow, which is probably exactly what's going to happen. So I've got plenty of colors and some left. Actually, you know what? I really want to make those move. I 
And the cells were so pretty too. But it's an experiment. And he's a lot wider up here than down there, so I'm not sure. And here comes the rain again. Son of a gun. This is definitely not the easy way. Oh look, we got an eye. Let's give a little bit more. I definitely think I prefer the card. I love how I get a, uh, an eye or a nostril every time. This time I got a horn. I'm give myself some ears. Pretty sure I can just encourage. Some spikes out. Especially if I get super intense into a puddle. some of that paint color back down there. That is cool. There's totally an eye in there this time. Slick. So, the only thing that isn't slick is all of this right up here. Wipe my paint off. Kind of wondering if I can herd paint. I'm gonna try. Slim that down a little bit. I still want to pull some spikes out, but I kind of think it's gonna be hard now that I moved that paint. Let me see if I can find some color. put in there. Hopefully that was the right black because I have some Anita's metallic. I'm just filling in where I move paint out and I don't think it's going to make any difference once I start to pull things out. I kind of want to try and push some things in as well as pull them out. Got some great colors, I want to say. Wow. Almost as cool as they were earlier. I kind of want to take the paint I've got and use it to widen that section that's not wide enough. And I'll go down on every other one. And that way I'll have something to bring me back again. That I can join that up with. That's my theory anyway. So I am, I'm just going to drop some paint right in there. Now the last time I ran a skewer through to make it look like scales, but I don't think I care that much about doing that this time. Still not going to have... I've got quite a bit of white seeming paint in there. I'm just dipping in and pulling out.
That almost looks like I'm going to have to add some other color in there. I'm glad I got all the color out of there I did already. Because the rest of it's a little different with that white. different than last time. Oh! Use as much of that as I can before attempting to take the lump out. really good thing that it's raining right now. Keeping the paint really nice and moist. So all that's pretty cool. I'm going to run out of time. Maybe I'm not. I, was, I thought I was running low, but it seems like I've got five minutes left. And this paint is definitely bugging me. I'm going to throw some more purple in there and some more gold just because. And then I have to decide. comes from. We may not get both legs in, although I could put another one over here. That's the dull end of the skewer, by the way. It's easier end to uh, manipulate. He's got one little leg. So it is what it is, and uh, I don't hate it. Let it roll over. I am going to dip another. Skewer full, but I really want some gold there.
I'm going to take a risk and put some of this gold on this skewer. And hopefully, let it drip right down. And kind of fill right in. He's a little tubby dragon. <laughs> He's been well fed. And like I said, I could put some scales in. But we've already got some funky cells. He just looks like he's camouflaged to me. All right. It is what it is, and it's cool. It's still pra me practicing. I'm hurting a little paint. And if I need to do something else to it, it's going to happen tomorrow. It's not going to happen now. I love you guys. Thanks for being here. Sh please share my videos if you will. I don't know how much of that you'll actually see. I'll try and move it in for you. Shop my Amazon link at know what it costs to you. It helps me out. Check out the Teespring clothing below the video. That helps me out too. I've got some other black paint here. And I'm hoping because it's wet out that that patch won't look too obvious. I am going to do a cloud background for one of these don't like that white spot right there. Goodbye white spot. I should torch still. I'm afraid what will happen when I torch. The torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. If you guys, if you guys need my paint pouring recipe, it's under the video along with uh, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter. Oh, those are on the link tree underneath show more underneath the video. And, uh, I'm hoping all of this is going to turn out fairly well. That was a mistake. <laughs> There's white paint on that. No more now. All done. All right, I love you guys. There's almost 87,000 of you. And uh, my crib sheet says check the 1,360 videos on all playlists on creative playlists and you'll find something to inspire you organized by genre and topic and the hundred my email is underneath the link tree link and um, thank you for the thumbs up I really appreciate that I appreciate your comments and if you're interested in helping support the studio PayPal and patreon links are underneath Teespring and also the channel has them on the icon you can also find my Teespring store on my community on my channel and my community board on my channel where you'll see tomorrow's video. I do give lessons. I do sell my art. The email address is EASPB, the word gallery, at gmail.com in case you need it and uh, you can't get to it some other way because of your tablet or your phone. Uh, I love you guys. I hope you keep hanging in there and I post a video every day or two. They're around midnight and 1230 and um, maybe I'll go back to 11 a.m. but who knows right now. And I'll see you guys anon. Check Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for other students. And tomorrow's video, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and more for merchandise with my art on it on fineartamericanpixels.com, which you can also find below the Teespring link. And Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fancy Collectors is for anybody checking out the YouTube edited wet and dry artworks. They're not all there. If you need something, just ask me. I'll help you. And if you're interested in making a purchase, please use the hashtag in the title of the video, along with a date would, wouldn't hurt. But I can